first I told people that they didn't, that there was no God when I was a kid. Then when I was in high school, I was like, yo, I don't think this free will thing is real. But during, in those times, I was really confused by why people thought that they were real, God or free will. Then I was telling people, then I realized why they thought that, learned how the brain works and stuff. So then I started telling people, hey guys, we're actually not reasonable. So like, like you can't trust the, yourself on stuff. So that was hard. Imagine it was hard telling people that God wasn't real. They didn't like to hear that. But then when I started, when I told some people that, oh, that free will thing is an illusion, they didn't like to hear that. Then I was like, yo, 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 guys, actually, like all of your thoughts are kind of an illusion. You don't, um, you're not reasonable. All your beliefs are based on sort of trash and you think that, you know, it's evidence or something. Um, they, they did not like hearing that. And now I'm going to tell them that not just is one belief God wrong. Not just do they not have the capacity to just like do whatever and that they are some initial cause. That there is an initial cause before them. They are not an initial cause. A human being is not a cause by himself. He is caused by things and then he causes other things. Then I, yeah, then I got ahead to tell them, oh, you know what, actually, your thoughts aren't reliable. And now, and so don't trust any of your beliefs or interpretations. Now, I'm telling people, yo, uh... Oh, and then I was like, after that, I was telling people they weren't reasonable and nobody wanted to listen, and I was confused. Uh, I was like, oh, actually, you don't exist. You're like a bunch of different conflicting pieces. There's no unity to yourself. To, to your operations. But I still thought there's unity to the in the observation. What did I just say? Operation. Ah, that's good. So I, I realized there's no unity in the operations, but I still thought there was maybe unity in the observation of the operation. But even that is an illusion. But they didn't even want to hear that uh, they weren't souls created by magic. So how are they going to believe me about this? And it's funny because there's, for the God thing, there's a bunch of evidence like, here's why the brain is programmed to believe it. Here's how the world like came about. Uh, and nothing in your God story matches anything that we have seen or interacted with in the world. So, so that should be super clear. <laughs> But there's still people stuck on that one. It should also be super clear that free will just doesn't make sense. Everything has a cause. Um, so, I mean, it's all dominoes. It's always been dominoes since the beginning. Okay. That's just obvious, isn't it? <laughs> Then I was like, yo, oh, I just keep going back and forth because it is kind of funny to think about. And I'm just moving farther and farther away from anything that can really be demonstrated. I cannot prove to you that consciousness is, consciousness is an illusion, except if you went into got on the operating table and you were had a bunch of it stuff injected into you and then we would just have to slow we would just have to change one thing at a time until you've got until nothing has remained consistent that you would have thought would have been consciousness i don't how do you prove that it's an illusion but you can't even you know there are people who believe that they're dead because of a little unhealthy programming in the brain. Um, and basically just that they perceive the world, but the images of the world don't evoke an emotional reaction because there's a problem between the connection between the occipital lobe where the images are processed, identified, all that stuff. And then the, um, the limbic system, the emotional area where then that would then trigger things here. And then you would, feel things and then also 
even just here, just mentally um, thinking about good moments with the person. I don't fucking know. Uh, but none of that, oh, not with the person necessarily, with anybody, with anything. But that doesn't happen with Cotard's delusion. Cotard. Cotard's delusion. Uh, and so, and you can't convince them. There, there is some that die of starvation. So, the brain's so good at confabulating. How could you ever get it to not confabulate about its ultimate confabulation? And the ultimate confabulation is this unifying, this, this, this story that unifies all these different aspects of brain activity and time and whatever into a single observer and operator. I just want to know before I go whether people have at least understood that they are brains. Then maybe they'll understand they can fabulate, then the doors will be open to understanding other stuff. Let's put it this way. There are maybe four big illusions about the human mind. They're all kind of the same thing, but I think it's useful to use different words. Um, because, yeah. The four things are, one, will, uh, free will. Two, um, uh, self or unity. Maybe we can say W U will unity. No, will agency unity of agency. Oh, fuck. All right. Will self reason and consciousness. Okay, so here's here are the here are the myths. Uh, we can say total or free. Will, operation, observation, and evaluation. So the operation is free will, action agency, observation is consciousness, memory, stuff like that. And then uh, evaluation is the interpretive mechanism. So total will, operation, observation, and evaluation, those are the four myths of the mind. Um, That's cool. You do not have free will, that it's just a meaningless thing. You are not reasonable. I don't think that a system could be reasonable by any real definition of reason. We can only best imitate reason by having, you know, models of sort of reality or of good behavior patterns. Um, Uh, there is no, sorry, no, I should have said there is no single self who is then a reasonable operator and there is no single observer either. Okay, no. So the problem is, all right, so the illusions are will, reason, single operator, single observer, and, um, help me out. Will, reason, single operator, single observer. <laughs> oh no, because what I did there was I just took the evaluating and I made it into the reason thing. So that's right. Okay, so so-so can be single operator, single observer. So that's, so that's a pair of myths, so-so. And then uh, the other one is uh, will and reason. What, what's a, what, what could be a so-sore, so-sore, rasso, war sauce, w war, no, let's keep S-O-S-O -S -O together, so-so, 
Rososo. Rososo. The Rososo myth. Well reason, single observer, single operator, and single observer. Okay, there we go. So, um, and that's huge. Once we get rid of those illusions, once we overcome them, it's gonna change everything. You are not reasonable, you are not a free agent. Um, and when I say you, there's a whole bunch of yous that are hearing me right now. And I'm talking to each and every one of you, and also the ones that aren't hearing me. Uh, and then if you're still in the whole single operator or single observer myth, uh, then I'm saying that you, the individual who is watching this, uh, you are not an individual. There's a whole bunch of mechanisms and, uh, they, uh, no, no single one of them has the freedom to act and observe in all ways and on all things. Okay, the sum of them, the sum of all these different mechanisms that each produce one little thing, interpret one little thing and produce one little thing is what creates the Rososo illusion. The Rososo illusions. It would be cool, though, if we could do Warsaw, something that sounds like Warsaw, since we are in Warsaw. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Just people are going to on the Wikipedia page. The Warsaw Illusions, it's just going to be explained, actually, it's W-R-S-O-S-O, -S -S -O, but because it was in Warsaw, most people call it the Warsaw Illusions rather than the Rososo Illusions.